Do you want to answer? I don't have to take it. No? You know, we're, uh, we're real here. We're not, we're not. I don't you know. know what people have done to change. I, I really yeah. don't. I don't know um, what the, what steps people, other than having cell phones in grammar school now, young people have cell phones, but, and parents have gotten and said to me that that's because of it recent incidences in the different schools. Um, but to come up with a solution, I don't know how many young people or those who are out of the university system have um, changed their behaviors or been more aware of what's going on. I, I, I always, maybe I'm a nitpicker here or that's my pet peeve, but I I, I know people that, that call others young, young, younger folks or young people. I like to call them, I guess that is the appropriate word, young, younger people. How else do you describe young people? You gotta, I, I found it a little uh, belittling at times, but, you know, I hear it all the time in daily news. And yes, I'm a little bit of a nitpicker and it just comes with the territory of being analytical and with your intellectual character. I think I think people as per, my perception is very critical of people and my standards are higher than you know I got to live up to my standards because I have my views I'm not a very pragmatic person uh, and I, it bothers some people and it gets me into into a lot of trouble but um, yeah it's it just uh, yeah yeah depending on I find that if, no matter their age they they either they could be they can be close minded or dumb or smart, you know. It's, uh, That's true. When I refer to young people, I refer to the, the usual college age student who's probably under 35 years old. Right. Even though the demographics have, have, have increased over the years, we have older students in the university system, but generally a person who has graduated from high school either has gone to a junior college or has gone to a four-year university and they finish their formal education generally by the time they're 23, 24. If they go on for a master's, they're, they're finished by the time they're 25, 26. Yeah. And so, uh, it's to me, they're, they're just blossoming into their adulthood. So. Yeah, well, I always say the the you can get you can have you can get wiser, you can get more ignorant as you grow old, you know. And and I've learned it from just seeing practically speak, seeing people that way. Um, but on on the topic of uh, the, the Virginia Tech now, uh, you know, um, we were talking about if if I thought college students were more aware of their environment than perhaps a couple of decades ago and yes. I think they are now okay folks we're now I'm gonna say this because this has been said already there's nothing new and if you haven't heard this then you must be living in uh, I don't want to judge you guys or anybody out there uh, watching this but apparently uh, the guy at Virginia Tech was they, there's a rumor going around that he was mind controlled, mind controlled by DARPA or uh, something like this, the CIA. I mean, uh, is this news to you? Have you heard of this? No, I haven't heard of that. Yeah, he he, he was uh, he was already he was genuinely upset with something that happened at the school, whatever his problems were. I don't know the de exact details. Uh, but you know, they used him as an experiment. And everybody knows now. This is this is not what uh, exactly my why this is what what we're talking about. But when you you know when you look at somebody uh, and pass judgment. Uh, now I, I'm not saying you need to know them for two or three months, but when you pass judgment. 
already on uh, somebody, then uh, of course they're going to be a little uh, offended if, even if, uh, if their judgment is wrong to begin with. Is there, if they're passing judgment, you got to think, is it even correct? Uh, it's all about, comes down to common courtesy and how, uh, you know, use their perception. I always say the perception of somebody is causing misunderstandings. What do you think? It's, do you agree? Well, from what I, if we're going to talk about that particular young man, I think that he probably, from what I heard, he was bullied when he was a child. I understand his parents weren't as kind to him as they could have been. And I, I don't really know too much about it other than that, but he was a very troubled, troubled young man, and I don't know if he exhibited um, that troubled behavior to those who were closest to him in the university system. Right. I know that one of the professors uh, was very concerned about his writing, and uh, but that's really, and, and I only know that from the media, from when I heard shortly after that took place. Yeah, uh, well, uh, you know, he didn't like the, uh, the, the, I guess it, it, the video said he didn't like the rich or the, I mean, if, I mean, if the people are successful or are wealthy because they either worked hard or they were given that money, I mean, it, uh, live and let live. If, if they're rich, then if you want to be wealthy, then go out and, you know, do what you got to do. Or if you want, if you don't like the hed hedonistic type of person, uh, I, I think you got a, a right to be critical of them if you if it doesn't agree with it. Uh, you got to respect that they want to live. They want to live that way, let them live that way. If it doesn't directly affect you, then you live your life. You don't have to go. Uh, I think it's difficult yeah. to try to second guess someone who's had a troubled mind as the media has portrayed this young man to have had. And it's really kind of difficult to second guess him. Oh, media loves drama. If they, if they, they seem a little too generic uh, about their. Uh, an opinion. I mean, uh, they're they're looking at it from a superficial type of face value of what he did as far as his actions. Do they know the inner person though? Do they know his inner person? I don't think because oh, they can't know his inner person because well, he's dead for one. But you got to know from his uh, writings and base your judge base it on the facts. His writings, the people that he's associated with. What, what do you really know about him? You know, let's get the whole picture here before we, you know, this is the thing is, um, trouble functioning in the classroom. I'm not aware that he had trouble functioning in the classroom, did he? You know? I don't know because, as the media said, one of the professors chose to let him do his work as independent study rather than having to be in the classroom. And so I don't know yeah. how he functioned otherwise in other classes that he took. Yeah. I know that she was very concerned. What we now we're focused on problems because mm -hmm. obvious, obviously uh, we can talk about good things that's all fine and good mm -hmm. but let I'm you know the reason being is we're we gotta come up with some solutions because there's too many policies, like I said, in the school system, and they're not. I don't see them focused on the mental enough about the mentally. Uh, I don't even like to label mentally ill, but the people that have uh, emotional troubles, um, it, and. I don't know what, uh, I think there needs to be something that needs to be focused on it because it's too important and not trivial, like I said in, in my la in the last interview. Um, 
But get back to what do you see was the major problem in your teaching career and your time in the school, in, in your in 